so hi everyone watching this video so welcome back to veena puppala talk show today we are going to discuss about power of mind so here we have veena ma'am so hi ma'am yeah hello so today we are going to talk about power of mind session so this sessions are started by you ma'am or it was like taken from someone's inspiration yeah uh, so uh, this was created by me on course whenever whenever i create a course or a session i just think what is my requirement when i was in my childhood so that's how uh, power of mind came so i just came up with very uh, very specific topics which is related to listening skills reading memory so these are the three things i usually have in the power of mind with the name of lrm skills where i usually teach listening reading and memory techniques added to the graphology later on it just evolved into another course which is a power of mind i added uh, remain like two other courses into that which is a stress management time management and also graphology so the power of mind topic is more about how we can deal our mind based upon this based upon the age the topic will change power of mind topic will change let's say if i am taking sessions for the students who are in the engineering final year then the topics will be more about uh, interview skills communication skills all these things added to the mindset so that's how it, it's more customized topic i usually take and i am more passionate about uh, the words power mind and i i am i have so much interest and curiosity how really brain works how it deals exactly so based on that uh, i just created a course called power of mind and it is more about mindset how we can improve our listening skills reading techniques how we can remember the things in your head how exactly brain works what to eat what not to eat when you are in a studying environment and have uh, you what is the environment you need to be when you are studying i'll just cover all those parameters and some techniques to relax themselves in the process of studying so that's how the power of mind and time management stress management exam uh, management all these things is a added things based upon the requirement of the school and the audience yeah so ma'am what happens in the power of mind session and what are the more uses of power of mind like for students and all as you mentioned stress management time management and exams so can you please elaborate it more ma'am the uses of a power of mind yeah uh so it's it's all about how you manage yourself how you manage your mind power of mind uh, will go very deeper and touch the points how exactly you were thinking as a student you know to be very honest here to brain really don't like to study you know brain really don't like to do conscious things we need to make sure and force the brain to do that initially because we are you know brain really love to do uh, undisciplined uh, things and uh, always dopamine comes it will feel so good if we get the dopamine but if you want to sit in a structured environment and uh, be more conscious concentrated towards something brain really feel uncomfortable so what i observe very clearly there is a there is a saying from my daddy whenever i usually study he always keep on saying this you know uh, he said like uh, we know why you are not get, why you are not getting concentration while you are reading why you will get so much concentration while you are watching movie this is the question asked by my father so even i thought yeah it is true no i get so much concentration when i am watching i just forget what happened or when i involve so deeply why not why not it happen in my studies so after thinking for so many years i got answer even my i don't know whether my dad knows answer for this but i done so much analysis why why this thing exactly happening i thought this is a biggest challenge for the students too and not only that if i am studying uh if something is cooking in the kitchen i i i don't want to study i just want to eat that then and there i can't hold myself to stop eating even though i am studying i can't be in that zone so there are so many challenges while studying for the students and also i have another issue within me let's say there is an exam of science 
my brain uh, you know asked me to do maths that's how it works so jumping here and there from subject to subject topic to topic and also situation to situation and even it is a, a study in june I, i just go up into dreaming is off my mind and going into some other place you know the the i could say the best thing for the brain is the imagination power if you're not controlling it it will go wherever it want to go if i'm saying right now taj mahal your brain just goes to the taj mahal right now you imagine that in your head that's the power of uh, you know mind we have so uh, the question what has been asked by my dad there are so many elements involving in a movie which is a story line and songs in middle and the location change and dialogue to dialogue uh, difference voice modulation the intention of movie is to make sure we need to sit there for two and a half hour that's the intention creation of the movie intention is that and there are so many people who are getting uh, who are working for that to get that result so i just checked myself even though i watched that movie specifically with the concentration i can't remember the whole movie i just remember only highlighting points where director want to highlight that in each and every audience head but in the exams or uh, sorry in the studying zone or in the classes there will be only one teacher i need to see the same face again and again and i need to listen which is very tough to focus for every kid so that's how brain works then i usually got question okay what is the solution for this so i thought a lot and i came up with the topic called this power of mind where i categorize how you need to manage your mind before going to listen the class so if something is not familiar to the mind brain really don't focus on that we are watching movies continuously because we know the hero you know we know the location of the story point something somewhere we know that before so in the same aspect i just implemented how to manage your brain in reading zone or in classes you need to have an idea what is the class going to be tomorrow so have a glance there is a point how to how to work over there you need to have a glance what going to happen tomorrow don't read that at least have a glance so once you know how brain exactly work um, you know forming fields right forming field so in the forming field there will be a road small road to walk i mean uh, it will be more of like sand there will be small road only i can't say it a road it's a path so just imagine if you're not using that path for 3 months what happened to that path it will close it will be yeah it will close and yeah it will be in middle of the field all the uh, you know uh, remaining plants will come in that path we can't even recognize that's the path exactly phenomena happen in the brain if you are if you are seeing something there will be a dot connection in the brain just very thin line once you are seeing that yeah you have let's say uh, let's say there is a what is your name there is a question you just see what name like this and the my name is veena you just remember the name veena so in your head what happened okay you remember what name veena not in the sentences first when you see that whenever i am going to the class sir will tell what is your name he he just stress that out okay i remember that what and name then i got connection with him but that path will we become little bit thicker later on there is another parameter we need to add how you need to remember and how need to how you need to store that information into your memory so there is another step while whenever you are reading that there will be second line happening there what is your name okay my name is veena then the line will be thicker if you keep on memorizing that again and again the information will go into the long term memory so we have three categories of memory one memory is like a is just a memory sensor memory let's say i just said barbi just remember the number i i just called you up and i said you know just remember my number and i said 9676164231 before you were remembering it your mother just called him and asked you know what you want to eat what happened to the number what happened to the number i'll just remember the first few numbers i guess maybe 
yeah maybe or else we'll just forgot the flow because yeah. your brain switched into some other thing so whatever happening in that you know that remembering process all the information is storing in the sensor memory the the duration of the sensor memory is 10 to 20 seconds all the numbers quick things you just remember and forgot so that's how we we'll exchange the otps that's how we exchange the numbers once you said after 20 to 30 seconds it's just gone then there will be a memory which is a working memory it is like a machine whatever the information you are listening reading seeing dreams experiences everything will be stored in that working memory only little things will be going into long term memory which makes you you know you have some emotion towards it or else you have some content towards it you keep on memorizing the things then only that content will be went to the long term memory you can retrieve only information which is in long term memory only if you have the path is just like a computer you no know, there is a cpu monitor you now how you get the information i hope you remember the old days pick this is cpu you will get information from here to there that's how the brain works too so if you're not able to get that get back that memory there is no point of reading i hope you experienced this in your childhood you know whenever you go to the exams you remember where you wrote the answer you know this side page this corner this is the answer but you don't remember what is the answer is about so when i experienced that i know where i wrote i know headings i know the color what i used to write but i don't know the content what is inside if not i'll just remember only two to three words in the starting then i forgot the remaining part or else i'll get in the middle words it's very tactic uh, thing our brain does for us you know which is not good to happen for anyone so all these are challenging parts for the students if you are uh, literally following and making that path thicker and thicker then you know even though i'll just wake up in you know, in your sleep and ask you some question you gonna say me that back that's really works that's really worked for me i'm not a uh, you know i i'm i'm not like a brilliant student i'm just average and above average student in my schooling i know how it will be if you are not remembering the things in the exams all this and so there is a techniques if you manage the techniques definitely you know the retrieving capacity will be increased for you this is a this is a process you need to follow step by step and as a as a as the example i said you before about the path in the field let's say there is a road which may be a tar road you know if you are not using the tar road for 6 months what happen the road will be like very filled with rocks and all it will not be that no the the road it's a it's a complete road which was done by the government or something like that cleaned up road so let's we could say highway if you're not using highway for the six months what happened literally nothing happened the way will be the same you can use that any point of time so yes. same thing happen in your brain so if it is a if you are creating a path in the field you can't do anything with it because it's it's gone you don't know where it is if you are creating very good road in the head with the information you can just retrieve that back in a second that's how brain works i'll just i'm just saying gist of what i teach because i do, i can't teach everything in this particular talk show If you are interested, you can just uh, just drop in the comment section so that you can sign up for my next four of my sessions. Yeah, if you are watching, if you are a student, it's gonna help you out. That's how the more uh, things I'll cover in PowerPoint: how to listen, how to read, how to remember. What is the environment you need to have when you are reading? How our brain really triggers one place to another place? It's we need to train our brain. We need to train our memory. it's all about what you feel inside okay yeah that's how i i take this power of mind stress management and time management these two things i just shuffle here and there based upon the requirement but listening reading and memory techniques are fixed topics based upon the students and audience i just change this the remaining two or three topics whatever it is yeah so ma'am who all uh, who all can join the sessions ma'am is it only specially made for students or it is also for someone like who can uh, unable to yeah. concentrate on something 
Yeah, I could say, uh, the, yeah, as I mentioned before, listening, reading, memory, these three topics are exclusively for the students who are at least, I could say, the age need to be at least uh, 12 above, 12 and above. If, if they are grasping too much, then they can be like 10 and above. Less than that, they really don't uh, understand the concepts what I teach because there will be more of by hearting and just writing the things. That's how we try from our uh, KZ to whatever the fifth class. Later on, uh, people ask us to understand don't by heart. I feel really sad about it because that's what they thought for us to buy heart and write. You know, the concept of understanding will come later on in the, you know, once we are getting uh, aged like uh, sixth class, seventh class and above, you understand the concept of understanding the concept. Before and all, they usually force us to buy heart. You know, they keep on saying tables, keep on saying the things in the classroom. Immediately they ask us to, you know, just don't don't buy hard you need to understand that would happen even the teacher really forces us to buy hard so it will change based upon the people i do have the audience uh, like as i mentioned 10 to 60 and in 60 age so based upon the audience i'll change the topic but i this power of mind is very specific about the students i want to address okay so ma'am, what are the benefits of power of mind? Is it something related to meditation and therapy and all? No, it's it's not related to meditation and therapy. It's more about focus and what you are consuming while reading and listening and doing all the all the things. What you are reading to the I mean physically what you are reading and what you are taking to the head. What is the information diet you are into and what is the normal food diet you are into, we'll focus more on what we're consuming on that particular uh, times. I could say before exams or if you're in a student zone, it will be more structured format for you where you can categorize your work. You don't want to read continuously. Uh, this class is going to help students to have a proper uh, strategy and plan where they can read less and get more. It's not reading more putting yourself into pressure. It's all about reading less and getting more. We need to have proper plans and strategies. Even though you are listening my classes, if you're not implementing it, then that too don't work. You know, just listen. You know, there is a saying, if you are not doing, if you know something, if you're not doing that, there is no point of knowing that. Not knowing and not doing equals to not knowing. There is no point of knowing. And if you don't, change or if you don't implement things, nothing will change. If you change nothing, nothing will change. These are the quotations I usually like to listen and see. That's how things work. You need to change and you need to implement, then the change start coming in your life as a student or whatever it may be, yeah. So ma'am, this is the last question. And what is the duration and how to join this session, ma'am? Yeah, the duration of the session will be seven days to five. It will be five minimum, seven maximum. And it will be more like, uh, I'll take continuous live sessions. Later on, you'll get access for self-improving call, which is going to be on first Thursday of every month for the rest of your life. This is the gift I want to give to the people who are literally, uh, who are really interested to sign up then they can come up and sign up. I, I just, uh, I'm just looking to give this offer only for the limited people, this self-improving call offer. Later on, if I feel uh, uh, the people who I want to serve, I serve as much as I can, then I just close this offer of self-improving call. Yeah, we could give the uh, link for the power of mind in the description. People can just click on the link and they can just fill the form. Uh, once you're filling the form, uh, my team uh, reach them out and explain the further things if they want to sign up. And I want to be mentioned this. This is a paid session, uh, which will be of very, very minimum fee. So this is more to serve me back. Uh, remaining courses, whatever I teach, it will be maybe a high ticket, but this is a very, very, uh, you know, pocket-friendly 
price. You can just pick up whenever you feel to pick up. It's just very, very less. Just outing price. Yeah, I could say that. This is just, I want to, I just like to associate with the students because I did so much, uh, I just admire by them. You know, the way they think and the way they respond, they are, they, they'll be very chill. There are not so many burdens on them. I just like the way they, the students and young people behave and I really admire by them. So I just want to connect it with them. That's why I make sure to have this course for the rest of my life so that I could be in touch with the young people who are coming up. Yeah. It was nice to hear, ma'am. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you, ma'am. So thank you everyone for watching this video. So please do subscribe Multi Arts page. Please do like and share. Thank you.